an interesting doubt asked there is a shortcut to this question the doubt is how does the shortcut work and also the logic behind it why so the question is when an article sold at x percent discount there's a profit of 44 percent if the discount is 2.5x the profit is 20 what would be the profit if discount is 3.3x percent so um, what are what data do we have we have discount percentages we have profit percentages accompanying profit percentages and when it is x percent 44 percent is the profit discount changes to 2.5 x the pro it's more discount now so obviously as expected profit is less 20 percent if this becomes 3x yet more a little more what will be the profit percentage and the shortcut is that my discount percentage the change in discount percentage this delta refers to the change is directly proportional to the change in profit percentage so we will go to the change from first to second what is the change in the discount percentage and i'll be doing higher discount minus lower so numerical change the numeric change okay so 2.5x minus x is a 2x sorry 2.5x minus x is a 1.5x and the change in the profit percentage this time i'm doing 44 minus 20 so i'm doing the larger value minus the smaller value right so 44 minus 20 is 24 from second case to third case the change is that of 0.5x and we do not know this change since they are directly proportional the ratio here is 3 is to 1 so the ratio here will also be 3 is to 1 and therefore i get the change is 8 percent now the, this is not 8%, the change is 8%. We know discount has gone up. So obviously the profit will go less and my answer is 12%. So this is the shortcut students. Now for the idea, why does it work? Okay, it's a good time saver, pretty nice. Yeah. In fact, you don't even really need to do so much. I have to explain, so I wrote it so elaborately. Uh, even the logic of why it works is very, um, interesting students here yeah, some very nice ways uh, we know that I'm working in multiplying factors we know that the multiplying factor related to profit is the multiplying factor related to markup into the multiplying factor related to discount now here the markup remains a constant and the profit and discount vary so some varying quantity is a constant into another varying quantity this is telling us that the multiplying factor related to profit is directly proportional to the multiplying factor related to discount when markup is constant Okay, very interesting. And if two things are directly proportional, then the change in them is also directly proportional. The change in the multiplying factor of profit will be directly proportional to the change in multiplying factor of discount. How is this? Students, if X is directly proportional to Y, it's simple we can say x is ky or x is equal to k times y and now if i have x2 minus x1 the change i could say this is k times y2 minus k times y1 i could take k common and this is y2 minus y1 so if i look at the first and the last it simply says the change in x k times the change in y this is a very common result right? if two values are directly proportional their differences are also directly proportional and interestingly the change in the multiplying factor 
is nothing but the change in the profit percentage. And the change in multiplier factor of discount is nothing but the change in the discount percentage. And how, how can we explain this? Uh, what is a multiplying factor? Think about it. Na? So uh, when I say uh, there's a multiplying factor, change in the multiplying factor for profit is nothing but 1 plus profit percentage 1. This is the multiplying factor. It changed this to another profit 2. So if we see the 1 and 1 will cancel out. So this is as good as P1 minus P2 in percentage. P1 percent minus P2 percent. So the change in multiplying factor is same as the change in profit percentages. Same with the change in multiplying factor of discount. Though it is going to be 1 minus discount 1 percent. The second time discount changes to D2. It becomes D2. So this but 1 and 1 will again cancel out and this time I'm going to get D2 minus D1. The change in the numeric values of the discount percentages. Right. So uh, and then this is what we used. This is what we used in a shortcut. So this is why this works. Now uh, one part here it is an eye opener kind of a situation. So I'll try to explain here. This part here also does does the multiplying factor is it really directly proportional to the multiplying factor of discount? Uh, let's take a situation of markup is 50% and the first situation is discount is 10%. If discount is 10% then the profit percentage will be 50 minus 10, 40 minus 50 into 10 by 100 minus 5, 35%. Okay. And if the discount changes to 20%, then the profit will change to 50 minus 20, that is 30. 30 minus 15 to 20 by 100. Okay. Minus 10. 30 minus 10, 20 percent. These these values you should do it on your own. Don't don't uh, you know just be a little ahead of me. What did we have to check? We had to check the multiplying factor of profit and discount. In the first case, the multiplying factor of discount one is 10 percent discount 0.9. Okay, the multiplying factor of discount two 20 percent discount 0.8. What's the multiplying factor of profit 1? Profit 1, 35% profit, 1.35. Multiplying factor of profit 2, 20% profit, 1.20. If you look at the ratio, this is a ratio of 9 by 10, 9 by 8. This is a ratio of 15 will cancel this, 15 nines are 15 eights are. Or you look at it this way, 9 15s are 135, 8 15s are 120. The ratios are same. So basically, what we have is the uh, this uh, indeed this is true the multiplying factor related to profit will be directly proportional to multiplying factor of discount if the markup remains constant.